What's going on guys? Welcome to a two minute tutorial. Today we are going to be making a progress bar in DaVinci Resolve. Super simple. If you're interested in more videos like this, make sure you check out the rest of our channel. We make all videos about growing your passion and profits through video. So if you're interested in that, consider subscribing. So we're gonna be making a nice little progress bar just like this guy at the bottom of our video here. Uh, I've got a video that is basically a bunch of talking head, but it's a long video that's going to be playing. Basically, just want to give people a little status bar at the bottom, letting them know when it's going to be done or how much time they have left over, because who doesn't like that? All right, so to start, we're going to come over here to our generators tab and we're going to select a solid color generator. So that is going to overlay our video. Don't freak out. It's going to go away in just a second. I we're gonna go up to generator and select the color. Now it doesn't have to be blue. I'm gonna select blue because that's the color that my client's logo is. So say bet. We're gonna go to settings and gonna come down to cropping. Now, if you don't see cropping, it could just be like this. Just click that little tab right there and it'll pop down. And we are going to crop the top all the way so it looks good, about right there. Crop tops, they're in. Okay, so with that, we are going to stretch this bad boy out through the entire video. So let's bring it all the way here, and boom. If you're new to DaVinci Resolve, I'm using Command Plus and Command Minus to zoom in and zoom out of my timeline. All right, so we've got our solid bar all the way through the video. We're gonna go down to the composite mode and we're going to turn the opacity of that down to 50. So now that we have that done, we're going to copy and we're going to paste it. And then we're going to drag it over. Make sure your magnet's on for this. It will help you actually get it in the correct spot. All right. Now that we have that in the correct spot, we're going to give those both a little fade on, so that way they'll fade on screen, nice and clean. Okay, this top one though, we're gonna come back to that generator tab and we are going to select white. Now, white with opacity turned down doesn't look the best, so we're gonna turn the opacity of that all the way back up. But basically what we're gonna do is have this overlay the blue and we're gonna add a key point at the very beginning with a crop. So in doing so, we are going to bring this crop, whoop, control Z didn't mean to do that. Okay, we're gonna bring this crop all the way to the right, as far as we can, boom. And right there, we are going to hit this little button right here, which is gonna add a key point, which means that it's starting there. Then we're gonna zoom out, come all the way to the end of this timeline here, and we're gonna bring that crop all the way back over. And you'll see that this key point turned red, which means that it accepted it basically. And then if you look at the bottom here, through our video, that little white bar is our progress. Super simple, you can overcomplicate it if you want to, like I'm sure most of you will. But simple progress bar. Hope that helps. If you like this video, subscribe, watch our other videos. If not, we'll see you guys in the next video.